Hey everyone, this is Randy with Carchaeology, and today's adventure is this bad boy here. This is the 1970 Coronet RT out of the muscle car stash, and I'm going to dig through it, get all the junk out of it, and we're going to verify whether this is the original engine, trans, etc., etc. So follow along. All right, so I got my buddy Mike here, and we're going to go through the Coronet RT and see what sort of treasures lurk within. I uh, already found that. Uh, rear balance panel there gonna pop the trunk so obviously the six packs which we saw before is crazy stuff you've got your new age body repair system <laughs> by 3m so it's it like, like used on the charger sticky sheet metal pretty much <laughs> crazy <laughs> definitely make a trash pile and then the keep pile i think this is a 340. This is a 440. And it's got its fuel lines. It looks like the linkage is there. And if I remember right from last time, this one was the center card was for a four speed. Awesome. And it's a cast iron intake. It's always a ton. <laughs> Killer. All kinds of that shit. That was a pretty bitchin' surprise to open that trunk oh, lid yeah. and see that stuff in there. Yeah, it's looking pretty solid. Wheels in here, and there's hubcaps and all sorts of shit. And those are trim rings. There's a little bit of crustiness here in the trunk, but it doesn't look bad, actually. I'm not seeing it go through. I don't know if it's coming out whole. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. It's funny how the littlest things give you the greatest joy when you're digging through this oh, yeah. stuff. Like he hoarded Monroe shocks. Oh, there's a Gabriel on this side here. Yeah, it is amazing that cardboard was up against there and it didn't didn't soak in and rot out. Yeah. It's like it's got air shocks in the back. So I got the trunk pretty well cleared out. Still some shrapnel to to mop up. The inside's next. This thing's packed full of who knows what the same as what's on the car yeah it's just missing the, the trim gotcha so. well you could put another set on there and really yeah. make it crazy well has got a nos us mag center cap and mikey found himself some shades yep. swanky gotta have those for cruising the rt in the summer <laughs> days. that's it Look at that. They just all come right apart. Huh. Stuff. So there you go. Proof of proper car care. He bought a car there. He just never put it on. So there's emblems and stuff in here that are from a sport theory. And there's one of those in the yard there. Here, what's underneath there? Oh, man. Oh, that seat looks pretty amazing underneath that. Oh, get the frick out of here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right freaking on. I love that. Yeah, that's cool. That would have been a console shift, probably B-body, huh. like for a Charger or, or this car. Killer. A whole bunch of that shit. Yeah, there's lots of that. You can take as much of that home as you want. No extra it's charge. Mopar rat, shit. Mopar rat shit. It's far better than any other rat oh, shit yeah, in the world. Superior. And the pretty final box. Pretty random. And the rats just ate through that seat. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, it's definitely a repop. Yeah, there you go. Bunch oh. of hand tools. 
here, grab that blanket and give a yank out that side and we'll see what that seat looks like. Everything just crumbles. All right. Not bad though, geez. Even the top of the seat doesn't look cooked. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Almost. Oh man. Ooh, it is gnarly under there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There we go. Uh, do not try this at home. <laughs> we should be wearing face masks. Not for COVID, but for this for shit. Once, I agree. Oh. You can make some good soup out of that tonight. Yeah. And then you can get the seat back out and we'll yeah. see if the broadcast sheet is in there. Yeah, get into the classic car game. It'll be it'll be wine, women, and song. And rat shit. Lots of fucking rat shit. Is this patina? <laughs> this is this is patina. <laughs> this is all a part of the patina process. Very important. Let's see if we get lucky here. But seeing that the seats are redone, that kind of... It is gone? Damn. So where would it normally be, like back? Yeah, typically they tuck it underneath the, the right. springs. Possible, it could be in a file somewhere. I'll definitely have to check that, but... You wanna just pull it out? Um, we can pull it out and then I can get the vacuum in there and suck all that crap out of there. You can shake out the back of the seat. And uh, couldn't hurt to get all that out of there if we can. Yeah, it all looks super solid in there. there. A little wet here, but it's still solid, just surface rust, it looks right. like. Yeah, that's what a dry climate will do, definitely. Seat covers off of there. Not bad. That will dust off. on there it's one six two six seven i think it's four right and one six two six seven oh it's eight but yeah that's an eight all right right on just kind of greasy cool so that is the original block then that's yep. that's killer super good news so trans number is right the original engine original trans the right carbs on it this wrong valve covers, wrong distributor. Wrong radiator. Wrong radiator. And that's about it. Does it look like the rear ends, right, from what you can see? From what I can see, it doesn't look like it's ever been out. They date everything. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty full. <laughs> so, I'm now inside. I've had a shower. Thank God I've got all the rat gnarliness off of me. And I'm super pleased to say that the car is 100% legit. Numbers matching engine, numbers matching trans, manifold and carbs are correct. Rear end looks correct. Uh, no luck with finding the broadcast sheet, but we it does have the fender tags, all the options line up, and, and it is what it is. It is a genuine RT 440 six-pack four-speed Coronet. Holy mackerel. Anyway, uh, the best part about it, too, getting in underneath all that junk is to realize that it's super solid. A little bit of surface rust, you know, very, very little area that's going to require any attention other than cleaning and treating. And that is amazing for a Mopar of this era. So anyway, fantastic adventure. Big thanks to Mike for coming out and helping sort through all this stuff, identify the parts that were in the back. And 
we will continue on with digging through the muscle cars. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Keep on digging them up and driving them. Bye-bye.